Hiya. Can't keep away, can I? Um, I'm doing this video because I just had this uh, amazing experience uh, with Gaia. So um, I wanted to share because it, uh, it was really strong and I didn't want to wait till Sunday. So um, I went to Gaia and I went into the center of Gaia and we started to look at the other universe where the watchers are. The watchers that um, brought in all the, really they brought in the first trauma into our consciousness. We wouldn't actually be dealing with any trauma if it wasn't for the watchers. We wouldn't be dealing with trauma, psychotic behavior, psycho behavior. There would be no Bill Gates. Evilness wouldn't be in this reality if it wasn't for the watchers. Um, the two main watchers are now dead, but they are the watcher minions. And as we're reviewing this, um, what Gaia started to do is change her masculine energy and, um, um, and put out a really, really strong vibration. And I saw this energy like going all the way out, all across our universe, all around the universe. And it was a vibration of there will be no more um, abuse, manipulation, deception enter into our universe, that this, is, this will never happen again. And then she gave out a call to all her children and she deemed all consciousness in this universe as her children. Not just this planet, but all the planets. She's like the mother of the whole of the universe. And she put out a call to all the children saying um, that the, this behavior of manipulation, abuse, deception will not be tolerated and that she will give us time to look at our, our behavior and change that behavior and heal that behavior. But if the people that choose not to heal from that behavior, they will be rejected from this universe, that she will not keep hold, will need, not keep them attached to, that do not belong in this universe. So basically she put out this strong call um, and basically told her children off and gave them uh, an ultimatum basically. Um, and it was really powerful, it was like <laughs> So, um, yeah, this woman's not taking any more shit. Uh, that's what it felt like. It felt like the mother standing in her mother's shoes, like um, we need to get our shit together. And if we don't get our shit together, then um, we will be um, not allowed to stay in this universe. She also said that we all need to return back to uh, loving ourselves because only when we love ourselves that we can project love full love onto one another it's the whole journey of loving oneself and um, she will not reject the people that are that are choosing and are working at loving themselves and getting rid of the narcissistic behaviors that we have picked up through the traumas that we have um, experienced through time so, um, yeah, it was so powerful. So um, I'll just, just see what happens over the next few months. And um, yeah. Okay. Thanks for listening. You take care. Bye.